We're five months away from graduating medical school, and it sounds foreign to say because you've been with me every step of the way. But if I could go back in time, as far as high school, I would do two things. One is to understand nutrition and how important it is. Two is to wake up at 5 a.m. My father is an African man, and under his roof, I never understood why he would wake me up so early, even on weekends. But now I understand. I understand that discipline is the root of all good habits. Cultivate it into your routine, it'll be there when your motivation is still asleep. The other benefits included the silence, getting your most difficult task completed is a jump start to the day. Also by getting up early, there's no rush to your job or to your school or of any of your day commitments. Are you convinced? Of course you are, the same way I was, but here's how to. How to wake up at 5 a.m. Now, from the previous video, you guys absolutely love the morning routine, but reading the comments, I could tell there was a lot of detail that I think is important that you guys will love, and that's the detail I'm gonna add in this video. It's everything that I do, and the trick of how to wake up at 5 a.m. is purpose. Purpose according to Webster, something set up as an object or an end to be attained, intention, resolution, determination. One tip I can give you for sure that will help is charging your phone or having your phone away from your bed for two reasons. Typically, a lot of individuals, when they have their phone right next to their bed and charging, you're scrolling through Instagram, through Twitter, through YouTube at night. You'll waste 30 minutes to an hour to be able to fall asleep. So having their phone away from your bed is a good idea. And if you set your alarm, in the morning, you're gonna have to wake up because of the sound. So if you get out of bed, it's already step one. You've gotten out of bed just to switch off your, your phone. So if you're going, it's, it's gonna prevent you from snoozing, basically. Another tip I can give you is having your curtains open. Having the natural light shine on you will help you in terms of circadian rhythm, will help you with that natural light, having your body have a natural wake. And another tip, because I am five days out, is having water right next to you and consuming a whole bunch of it as you wake up, as I have to get seven liters down, will get you started as well. It's another step to have, so having your phone away from your bed, curtains open, and chug some water is a good way to kick off. My purpose for tomorrow, by waking up, is one, is accomplishing my cardio, 11,000 steps. It's training, I have upper body, I have my entire training plan already done, and also is being able to hit my macros, and I have to consume seven liters of water. If I don't complete any of those steps, I'm going to fail on Saturday. I put that in my mind. So on a paper, on your phone, just write it down, envision it. And purpose is extremely important, so it could be different for you. This isn't a one-size-fits-all situation. There are days where you do fail, but I do believe adding some sort of consistency to your life, picking it up, and trying to stay stick to it as much as possible will really help you. So the first thing is creating purpose the day before. Write it on a notebook on a phone, wherever, envision it. Step two is preparation. Preparation according to Webster. The action or process of making something ready for use or service or of getting ready for an occasion, test or duty. A state of being prepared. And right after you have your purpose is preparation. You want to decrease as many obstacles that you'll be able to have within that day as possible. So number one is for me is to clean up. Seeing shadows on the wall. is a way of meditation for me. Organizing everything, having the place that I'm at, having my location extremely clean does help me out, even in terms of filming the video. So first thing I do is always clean the night before. After I've had that done, I prepare. So in terms of cardio, I prepare my gym bag for training for cardio. In terms of being able to go to the hospital, I'm currently doing my anesthesia rotation, so preparing my school with my scrub, my stethoscope, everything that I will need, preparing that the night before really helped me to have a seamless morning. that I need to have prepared in terms of filming, my camera gear is all organized. As much as I can envision my day, the more I can have 
increased in terms of my obstacles. So preparation is extremely important. This way it makes your next day seamless. And finally, you have it all envisioned. You've thought it through. You've planned everything to the T. All you have to do is execute. Focus. Focus can be the difference between on and off, winning and losing, good and great, between great and the best. Focusing can be the most self-fulfilling thing you could do for yourself because with focus comes accomplishment. Focusing can bring out your greatest talents and give you true purpose in this world. It can take your natural ability and magnify it to extraordinary. One thing I learned and I'm sure most of us know is what you focus on, what you put your energy into is exactly what we should expect back. That's just the law of the universe, karma. I've seen it happen like 10,000 times. It's as proven as one plus one being two. Early in the morning, we head to class and we have our lectures right in the morning and then after that, we go and see patients. The current rotation we're doing is anesthesia, resuscitation, and what's the last one I do? Anesthesia, resuscitation, and intensive care. So that's what we're currently doing. I try and absorb as much as I can here, and then hopefully, yeah, and hopefully not have to do as much as I have to at home, especially during this week. We compete on Saturday. Okay. Catch you guys at home. For sure, I want to say that this isn't a one size fits all rotation. Uh, some people have to wake up at certain hours some people have kids it's very different but for me this helped me manage a lot of things every day it isn't a consistent theme of waking up at 5 a.m but one thing that i can advise is that within the first week it will be very difficult just because it takes your body time to adjust the same if you're on holiday and you have nothing to do you end up waking up middle of the day every day and sleeping super late because you're watching movies so it takes your body a while to adjust that's number one Number two is that don't sacrifice sleep. When I was doing pre-med, I used to sacrifice a lot of sleep. In the big picture, I just learned that I was doing that to my detriment because one, my focus was off, so my efficiency was terrible. So something that I could study in one hour would take me four hours. And I was always taught to believe that don't work hard, work hard and smart. So what I do is studying, there's a rule, there's an 80-20 rule where you focus on the 20% which is a chunk of the things that will typically be in your exams, typically be in your test. You're going to study a whole book. That whole book won't be in, in the exam. The exam is like one or two pages. Understand it and take away what you think is really important and have a general idea of everything that goes on. If you have time, keep on brushing up. Repetition is the father of learning. So that's another tip that I can give you is that one is it takes time to be able to wake up. So to give yourself a week Two, work smart and not hard. I wish someone told me this three, don't sacrifice your sleep. Make sure you're getting adequate sleep because it will help you with stress. It will help you with being able to focus. It will help you with fat loss. It will help you with so many things. Sleep is so important. It's so underrated. And uh, I'm just going to leave it there. There's so many benefits, I think. Um, through my channel you'll be able to learn of the, a lot of the little tips that I do but I hope you guys enjoyed it it's uh, one of those videos that uh, anyone who's trying to improve in their life in some way not just fitness but in life in general if you did enjoy it hit it with a thumbs up I greatly appreciate it uh, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one peace